next Jenny Jones. She has ripped my family apart. Laura, do you think that your mom has ever given Stacy a chance? I don't. They'll never accept the color of your skin. I've always disliked interracial marriages. You don't like any black people. White belong with white. Black belong with black. You need to shut up. Your views are from the dark ages. Get real. Hate hits home on the next Jenny Jones. Our show today is about in-law problems. It's about a man who hates his brother-in-law so much he made him sleep outside before he'd let him in the house. It's about a woman who hates her brother-in-law so much she wouldn't go to the wedding of her own sister. Uh, Pauline, our first guest, disowned her daughter Laura the minute she got married. Well, he's a Lisa. He's a What good is a What good is a They don't work. They're, they're useless. You disowned your daughter. You know, they work, work huh? in a pie factory did chasing you, pie. Did you just call me Lisa? Uh, uh -oh, no, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> but Jenny, they're useless. They wouldn't work in a pie factory chasing pies for $15 an hour. Who's they? The well, can you? You know, they won't. You don't call him that, do you? The Stacy, yes. To Stacy? This is your husband. I don't care what he is. He ain't, that's her husband, not mine. Your, I'm saying it's your daughter's husband. I'm looking at Laura. She yeah. says that to your own husband to his face? I don't think she's got, she's brave enough to say it to his face personally. Let him bring him out here. Bring him out here. Bring well, that out here. Well, bring him out here. And I'll tell you what her is. You know, not only, not only is Stacy here, but we have, uh, we have all different types and races in the audience. Are you, you meaning to offend everyone in this audience? That, that word is very insightful. All right, let, okay, we know how you feel. We know how you feel. Let's, uh, let, let's, uh, let's not use that word anymore, okay? We know how you feel. You don't like any black people. Right, right? correct. For, and for what's the reason? Because they can't read and write. Have you ever heard one of them say, I went to the store okay. and bought a loaf of bread? Right. Wrong. Act. Here's the guy. Can you read and write? Yes, I can. How you doing, Jenny? Um, ma'am, when you cut your wrist and I cut my wrist, we bleed both the same. Red, baby. Yeah. Stacy, by the way, he's back. We've been together almost six years. So, you, w when did this first start? When did first. you know that she was with a black man at all? When she was maybe eighteen. Eighteen? No. Did you? It, 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 start, it started like when I was about fifteen or sixteen. Yeah. Were you raised? To... No. No, she no, was not. No, I wasn't. But I also wasn't raised to be prejudiced either. Well, we didn't have all that problem when you was going to school. <laughs> Pauline. I have a question. Do you love your daughter? Yes, I no, do. No, she doesn't. Well, you How? know what? If you loved your daughter, you would allow your daughter to be happy. If she's happy within herself, yeah, but she's not that's happy. what matters. When he beats her, he it doesn't, doesn't take matter care of her. if no. he is Japanese or yellow or purple. It should not, not matter. She's doing that to hurt me. She is not. If yes, she is can. happy inside, that's what life's She's little mystery happy. is about, being happy. So you're happy. telling me, excuse me, you're telling me that if someone beats you all the time, if someone slaps your face, and they, they don't take care of your children, you're happy? If excuse he beats me, her, lady, get a that's life. another story. Let's ask him, let, we'll find out if he does. Stacy, come on out here. Yeah. Do you think she, that your mom has ever given Stacy a chance? No, I Ain't don't. Ain't going to either. I don't. You you, know, do you even know this guy? No, I don't want to know him. No, I doesn't. know he beats her. I know he doesn't take care of her. I know he runs around with her. I know he doesn't take care well, of her. Well, but if, if any of that's true, we will find, we'll get into that. If any of it's true, a white guy could do the same thing. <laughs> Couldn't he? No. 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 Does she have reason to be upset like this no my does, mom's always my my grandmother raised me she didn't raise yeah. me oh, my no. grandmother raised me okay does, does and does did Stacey your grandmother raise you to be with she raised me to Paul, be happy we, we had a deal here about th that that word is just it's there's you know we know how you feel we know how you feel we know that you have said that Thank hang you. you've said that Stacey she said that to you to your face hasn't she no she hasn't 
You are. Pauline. <laughs> Jenny, let me, can I explain huh? something to you? This is the first yeah. time this is even coming out, you know? Excuse you me? See what I'm saying? Excuse Falls, hear her even you. say something to me? She, if she was down in South Carolina, the first thing she'd even say is she'd ask me, where's her daughter? That's it. Far, she even calling me that? She ain't even got the to call me that. Well, she department. just did a week. Say, but but we can't say that now because you got Pauline? all the security around here and all that. Pauline, you know what I'm saying, Jenny? But, but, you got all the security around here. When, when she's down, like where we from, none of this don't even happen. But you none know how, you know oh, how she feels, now. right? She's a coward. None of this never <laughs> happens. None of this don't happen. But you know this how is, she feels about right. you. And I can understand that. See what I'm saying? I don't say nothing to her and I don't choose to even call her because you're not a man to do it. You know what I'm saying? Does she have any reason to dislike you? If she wanted, that's her. That's her prerogative. I don't follow that up. If that's how she feels, that's her. It's not hurting okay. me. It's okay. not hurting me. It's not taking no, nothing off me. No, you're hurting my daughter. You know what I'm saying? It don't take nothing off me. You're hurting my daughter. Colleen. Colleen, you're so... You're not just showing hatred to him. You're showing it to your daughter, too. What's let this? Me, uh, let, me, let me ask you a question, okay? I have two children, a boy and a girl. My daughter... Is has a real light brown complexion. My Beautiful. my son, Beautiful my son has blonde hair, blue eyes. Now, if my mother is so prejudiced, uh -huh. why has she tried to take my daughter and she can't stand the ground my son walks on? Because I can't stand it. Now, now the why, children. If my are... son is so white and my daughter is so he's brown, why would why would she want my daughter if she's so prejudiced? He's not white. I want to know: Did God put you specially on this earth to be judge and jury? Because what makes you so special to judge the next person? With me. You ain't all that, okay? I know all that. You ain't all that. You need to sit that. down. You, you ain't need to all sit that. Down. I am all that and Go. a bag of potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll call me there once. I have a question. Um, Pauline, what is what is your education? Because you, you're trying to say grade. that. grade. Question. <laughs> People can't even go. I went to the store and bought a loaf of bread. All the other thing I go to the store, I'm not making bread. You, I, you can't make a full No, sentence. no. You need to, you need to go back to school or something, because you, 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 no, your thinking is no, not right. No, I'm, your my thinking is quite right. Whites belong with white. Blacks belong with black. They don't need to be together. And I'll tell you why. When they started integrating, that's when your problems started. You La see Laura, you, where does this come from? You, this is your mom. Where has she gotten... She knows how I feel ever since she's been with one. She has ripped my family apart. She's destroyed my marriage. No, you ripped the family you apart, Colleen. You destroyed your marriage. That's right. You walked out on my father for another man. You're crazy. You left her. Okay. All right. Keep your hands Wow. Wow. Pauline, are you saying if she left Stacy tomorrow, everything would be great with I you and your daughter? I would be the happiest woman God put on this earth. I don't know about that. I just want to say, first of all, if she a bag of chips, it must be a bag of Funyuns, because you stink. <laughs> Can you? My mother does not even work. But what? Okay. I got a husband to support me. You left your husband. But he you know what? Your husband works. Okay. Oh, please, where does he work? Where does he work, Laura? Where does he work? My husband works for the milk company downtown. You're a liar. Do you not work there, Stacy? Thank you. Okay, Stacy says he has, has a job. Right, Pauline, let me just go back one second. You're saying that all black people are that they don't work, they can't read, they can't write. Okay, but you said black people. Here's a woman. She says she I has two jobs. How can my mother even she know what happens when she's living in North Carolina off of my dad and my sister? You she a liar. walked out and left her husband That's a right, week ago. Of you. And I'm pa to do Pauline, it. Pauline, here's a woman with two jobs. What do you want to say to her? What did she do? Uh, what do you I, do? On both of my jobs, I have to read verbatim, and my comprehension is very well, okay? The I'm, a, black I'm a very educated met. black woman and proud to be. Oh. 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 You know, more educated than a man in the moon. Kind of shoots your argument all the, the heck, doesn't it? No, it does not. See, my mother's a walking embarrassment anyway, so. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to meet Tara, Laura's sister, who says that ending segregation was a bad idea. We'll be right back.
you aren't in school. I want to be an exotic dancer once, you know, I reach 18. Dangerous Choices, next Jenny Jones. Tomorrow. Are you worried because you have a violent, out-of-control teen, daughter, or son? Do you have a child age 15, 14, or even younger who's injured you or is threatening to hurt you? If you're afraid of your violent teen, call us at 312-836-9455. We're back. We've been talking to Pauline, who's made it very clear she does not accept her daughter's husband. Hey, you say that her husband left her last week? She want a black guy. That's all she want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you do. You know what it, You know what I'm saying? You need to quit front, you know what I'm saying, and get you a black guy. Quit hating. No, that's all, girl. No way. No way. Because I'll tell you something. The first time he put his hands on me, mm -hmm. I crowned him. Okay, let's, no. let's, let's get another question. Pauline, if Stacy was a white man and he allegedly beat your daughter or I wouldn't like didn't work, would that be okay? No, it would not. Let me ask you something. Do you have children? No, I don't. Okay. Any mother out here has got children. They're your child. You don't want to see him hurt. You, want, you, do, you just don't want to see him hurt because when he hurts her, when I see her and I see gouges in her throat. Well, let's talk about that, Laura. Marks. What's the deal? Is this a man who, who does beat yeah, you? Yeah, he abuses her. And I'll tell you something else. Well, let's when let, he gets let her home, he's going to beat the starch out of her again. Laura, is that true? Yeah. No, it's not true. Has yeah. he ever laid a hand no, on you? No, it's not. We have had our confrontations, but that's our business. You what goes on between right. my husband and I is between then my husband and I. Then you keep it there. And Don't I. be calling your All grandma right. on the phone. But you know what? You sound like that, that may be the case and you're defending him, Jenny, in which case you Jenny, are no, making no, no, a mistake. No, no, no. You know. I love my husband, okay? Every marriage, has, she's scared every marriage has their problems. It's, this is not a race issue, but if you are no. hitting her, Stacey, no. he is hitting no. her. No. You look you that camera, he, he is, and you it? tell your grandma yeah. he's never put his hands on you. Let's ask Stacey. Stacey, black and blue have no. you ever lifted your hand to Laura? Oh well, we've we've had, we've had our little things, but then we've had constant we've had counseling we've, about we've that. You know, we've gone through marriage counseling, marriage counseling, and every you know? marriage counseling. You have been through counseling, yes, right? We have. I've been through counseling about that. Matter of fact, we just finished that. Okay, I have a question. I understand what Laura is going through because I'm also I'm engaged to a black man, and my mother at when I first is this your mom? How yes, you rip my mother apart? No, I'm not. My mother has learned to accept how I feel. I have a two-and-a-half-year-old son, and she also accepts him. She's here from Virginia to meet my fiancé as well as my son. And all people don't feel the same way that you feel. My grandmother... You should open your eyes and realize well, this is the 90s. This is not back what's in the your, 50s and 60s. What's your mother going to do if you ever come home to your mother and you're all black and blue? You're saying, Pauline, that you dislike him because he's black. That's the main reason. That's Whatever the main he reason. Does. If, if he, he treated her good, but he doesn't. He doesn't. What if he started from tomorrow treating well, her great? Well, she sit no. there and condemn him when all my life she she has she's called DSS to try and take my kids from me because she they go she in has called DSS and lied and told them all kind of things about how I abused my children. My children are more happy no. when they're away from her than they no. are when they're the with her. The boy is actually always cries. I'm gonna go to my nana. She's to the point now she hates you. Oh, you a liar! You bring that child out here and find out. Hmm. Hang on one no. second. I don't think racism is natural. I'd like to know how and who taught Pauline to be so stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I no. am I. And he beat her. No, I'm not stupid. You couldn't even get Jenny's name right. And you're talking about other people who can't read and write. <laughs> and I can't read and write. You're stupid. You're ignorant. So you shut up. He does to her. Mm -hmm. She calls my mother and she calls my other daughter she Sarah. Calls, she, no, calls excuse my, me. she calls my grandmother and upsets my grandmother has medical Lord, problems. I don't call her. She has you high blood pressure. Her. She has high blood pressure. I called her a week before we even came here. My grandmother told me how my mother called her and told her a bunch of things, and my mother wasn't even here. She was in North Carolina. Did, did this come from the rest of the family? Because you have No, she's the only one I have she problems out of. You... I, she's called my daughter, Tara. When I was in South Carolina, she called my daughter and she says, Mama, you got to go and take Laura some groceries. Because no. I heard the children in the background, Mommy, no. we're hungry. No, you call your sister a liar when she that's gets out of here. Tara, Tara is backstage. She's your other sister who also does not approve of no. your relationship. In fact, and Tara says that she thinks that when they when they started when they ended segregation, it was actually a bad mistake. Here's Tara, everybody. Come on out, Tara. Well, Tara, at least you're smiling. Do you have the same views as your mother? 
I think, um, and I don't believe in interracial marriages, no, but I don't think I'm quite as eccentric as she is. How do you feel about Stacy? I, I think he knows I don't like him. Why? Because he mistreats my sister. He doesn't take care of her two children. Is that the only reason? Um, well, I think I relate a lot of the way he treats her to his color. <laughs> yes, 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 um, yes. I'm not, can you can you explain you you were you you relate the way he treats her to his color I think so are yes. you saying that black men mistreat white women I've the only black men I've ever known I mean to me that I have I've never known any good black men that's right Pauline and Tara I mean it's first Tara. of all whatever you came on <laughs> you came you, you came on Jenny Jones show a little bit too high but you should have took a volume for you came on stage no, I, like need a I knew and, uh, he was gonna be here if you if you think we should be separated so much, you should just, you know what I'm saying, get your money for your trailer or whatever and move to Europe or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stacey, I don't understand why you let your children be around this woman. We don't. She don't have no I, children. I Thank you, God. She don't it, have it's no It's up to her. As many don't. times I argue with her, don't if let you your know children that's how she is, her. She's an embarrassment to my race. We don't. She the is. Children, the children don't go around her. Yeah. Because that's, uh, you know, t children do learn. Tara, obviously you learned some of your beliefs from your she, mom, she from Pauline, uses, right? She uses that She uses that word in front of my, mm -hmm. my daughter. And, and you know, I've told her time and time again, don't use the word in because front of my daughter. Because I, I say that but, when you aggravate me but with him. because of the fact that my mother refuses to even control her mouth at all, I don't allow my children around her, period. Okay, so, so okay that's good. Why you call me up and ask me to babysit and stuff. Because you don't allow your children with me. How can I call Pauline? you with just one second. I, I really don't think that there's anything that you can say to Pauline because it's not. Pauline, if you say things around the children that are innocent, then that shows that you are not mature at all. Oh, well, I'm not you are very not. Ma you're not mature. You're not an adult, well, and you can't be, be treated as such. You have no respect, well, and to show to true. touch children that I your attitude that is her. really horrible. And that she yes. gets with me, yes, and she, she starts telling me how Stacy's done this and no. Stacy's done you're that. You're a child. You're a child. Get angry That's a child. It. That's a child that would argue yes, and have is. a child around and argue like that about the race and things like that. I'm sorry to say that word, but still, that's a child. Yes, it is. You she know, is I, sometimes She's when we do a show like soul. this, you hope that in the few minutes we have that we can make a difference and make someone see. I don't know that there's anything. I think there's nothing even Stacy could do. There ain't. Job-wise, treating his wife-wise, to, to possibly change your mind, Pauline. Jenny, let me ask you something. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me ask you something. She wants us to stay out of her business. She's made that quite clear. Don't call me. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me for nothing. But she'll call us. Now, I was just here not too long ago, and she calls us. Mama, no, no. she ca wait a minute. I my father. Th did she not call you, Tara? And Tara yeah. called me, Mama, because she's in North Carolina. Look, I, I was in South Carolina. Well, what do you want, Polly? Do you want I her? never once said call my mother. I never. I, if Pauline, anything, do I you tell, want her to stop I, calling yeah, you? If anything, she I can't tell me. If anything, I tell my. Number. If anything, I you tell my your mother's phone number. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was talking. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was talking. Does she not have your phone number, Laura? No, she don't have my phone number. Why not? Because I don't want nothing to do with her. Because I don't think she's stable. I don't ask me to come get you out of jail. Don't ask me because you steal for him to get no, money to no. buy whatever. No, wow. that's all I, wrong. All I can had. say, we, we, uh, I'll go ahead. One more, we got to just want to tell Mama, you have to learn how to cut the cord with your daughter. Leave her alone. She's all grown up now. Cut to. the cord. Leave her I'm alone. Let her do what she wants but to she do. Up and she said, bring me groceries. My children are hungry. Let her do what she wants to do. I cannot let her and my baby You go do your hungry. own thing with your people. Let her do her thing with whoever she wants to do. It's cut your cord. Well, I have a two-year-old daughter. When she's old married and I... I will respect her for what she wants to do, and I will let her go. It's, that's the end of yes. me as a mother. You got to you hit her. I saw you hit her. You tell her to shut up. You tell her to leave. I'm talking. I'm talking. That's right. Just <laughs> let her do oh, what she wants. Let me ask you something. When your daughter grows you know? up and she calls you and she says, Mama, I'm hungry. The children are hungry. Are you going to say, I'm not interfering? Wrong. Pauline. If you're a mother, you're going to take her some food. Pauline, you know what? If you're really going to be a racist, then you should be a true racist and not use any Anything or be involved with anything that was invented or created by blacks. Do you want a list? Yes. Do you want a list? Yes. Okay. All right. The last page. The ironing board, the refrigerator, the baby carriage, the uh, shoemaking machines, the traffic signal, the incandescent light bulb, the folding bed, the mailbox, air conditioning, elevator. Do you want me to go on? 
What does that got to do with it? Oh, that's your butt locks. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, uh, baby carriage, the golf tee, um, automatic air brake, corn harvest. Don't eat corn anymore. I don't eat don't corn. Don't eat corn anymore. With. Fire escape ladder, pencil sharpener, You're a smoke I that. We know teeth. Pauline, you don't want to hear it, okay? Go ahead. If you ever need open heart surgery, you might not want to do it because it was invented by a black doctor. I know that. Okay? I know that. Uh, and if I ever had a we'll come heart back from break with a man who made his sister's husband sleep on a park bench because he didn't want him in his home. We'll be right back. Today at 5 on Channel 2 Action News, they're the second most dangerous drivers on the road. My reflexes are less than they were before. Elderly drivers, some are safe, but others... They're real impatient, and they make unsafe turns. Should Georgia require them to pass a driving test? I think that's age discrimination. If your parent drives and you worry, watch Don Farmer's report, How Old Is Too Old to Drive? Today at 5 on Channel 2 Action News, coverage you can count on. Hi, I'm... Lucky now to meet Mark and his sister, Brenda. Mark refused to go to Brenda's wedding because she was marrying a black man. You're not... You don't uh, deny that. That's no, true, I right? No, I do not deny that. Okay. Uh, Have you always disliked blacks? I've not always disliked blacks. I've always disliked interracial marriages. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really sick of... I'm really sick of uh, having it shoved up my... And it's, Are you, it's not you were right plotting thing. with him? You, 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 that's okay. It's, uh, we we want to hear you know, both I, sides. But when he said he dislikes interracial marriages, you applauded. Right. That's okay. I, I don't agree with interracial marriages. And I wanted to tell Miss Pauline, though, that I do agree that God made blacks and he made whites, right. even though we're not intended to marry, okay? And there is not anybody any smarter or any dumber than I am just because of their color. Wow. You, and the only thing Good you're mistake. doing is causing trouble for your daughter. And you need to learn that she is grown, but you're still her mother. And you still should respect who she marries. Because I have two daughters and a son, which aren't ready to be married yet, thank goodness. But if they ever bring anybody home that I don't like, that's just tough for me because I'm going to have to learn to accept them. That's good from someone who really doesn't uh, I don't want to think they no, should marry. And I'm not going to. You're, you're, okay, you're, so Mark, you're, you're are you saying, though, it's not just interracial marriages. You have a problem with, with blacks in general. Well, you know, you're at home having a, having a barbecue and your sister brings this black <laughs> man home and you got 15 of your friends there having a barbecue and then you got this boom box. Turn that <laughs> off. You're at my house. When I'm at your house, then I will respect your stuff. But when you're at my house, don't bring it in my house. So no, I don't appreciate it. Were you taught to to not associate with blacks when you were growing yes, up? Yes, I was. Were you were you brought up in a racist household? Yes, I was. But you, you're with a black man now. I am. Uh, when I met him, <laughs> there was no color. It just it happened. What did Mark? What was his and reaction? What, what respect do we have? He what, out. What, was, what respect do we have for our children? You know, it's an ugly thing. And now let me tell you, a black man with a white girl is just as ugly as a white girl with a black man. It's ugly to you. Yes, it is. What did you, what was, his, you know what? what was your we reaction, Mark? We what was your that. reaction, Mark, when you found out she was with a black man? What was your reaction? Well, I was irate. You and are. we got into one hell of an argument. Did you go Jenny, to the, did you go to the I wedding? Know, Hang on. You agree did you go to the listen. wedding? Jenny, let me no. ask you something, Jenny. What? Polly, one second. Did you go yes. to the wedding? Did no, you go to I her did wedding? Not, no. Did any of your family go to the wedding? No. no. Okay. My grandmother married me, married me and Vince, but right. no one else. Mark. What color is you? White. I'm white. What color is you? Look at your color. What color is you? I'm white. What color is you? Color is you? You're brown. You can't even talk. I'm You're brown. suntanned. You're suntanned, right? That's right. Why would you want to look more like the people you hate? Right. Right. I don't think we ought to mix marriages and have mixed children and so forth because, because I mean, he pays for it. The okay. children. The, the, the what do you got in your hand, Mark? What do you got? What's the piece of paper? I gave that to him and I want him to read it. What is it? It says, uh, "Speech is the mirror of the soul. As a man speaks, so, so he is. is he, so he is." Yeah. Mm. Jenny, I have a question. So, if you don't agree, how long you've been married, Brenda? How long you've been married? Four months. Okay. You don't agree with the marriage. How is he going to feel if you have children? I don't know. Thank I God can't. You can't have any more children. Yes, I can. We're having the surgery done. I am having another child. Oh, Lord. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, All right, when we come back, we will meet Brenda's husband, Vince, who says he actually prefers white women, and he has a reason why. We'll find out when we come back. Back in the 60s, a nation turned to my guests for their expertise in government. You're a diplomat, are you? No, I'm a Catholic Baptist. Romance. Who would you consider a perfect wife? 24, 36, 24. And life's tougher questions. I wonder what it's like in Skunk Heaven. Pretty smelly. Now, 30 years later, these kids are all grown up, and it's time to see if they've learned a thing or two since then on the next morning. This morning at 11 on Channel 2. I'm attorney Ken Nugent. When you're hurt in a car accident, call me right away. Ken settled my case quickly, and today he gave me my check. One call, that's all. You know, I'm a believer that caring healthy, especially as we get older, caring for an animal can reduce your stress. Best of all, pets keep you laughing, and that's always good medicine. But of course, the most important thing we need in order to stay healthy is a good comprehensive health plan. That's why I think it's so important for people like me who are eligible for Medicare to know about U.S. health care and their Golden Medicare plan. The Golden Medicare plan offers more benefits than Medicare and a Medicare supplement combined and at no additional cost to you. U.S. health care is even the first in the area to offer an option that gives you the freedom to choose any doctor or hospital you want without a referral. And it's so easy to find out more. Just give them a call. You know, we're all looking for ways to stay healthy. Having friends around that always keep you laughing is one way. Having U.S. health care is another. He wants us to be accepted into the family as backstage. Vince, would you come out, please? Can we do it? Can you split? We got to put them side by side. Put it up on the monitor and look at a side by side of Mark and Vince. They are the same color. Look at them. Damn. <laughs> yeah. hey, these, mixed, these mixed marriages, why, why would, why would you want to teach a child to, or why would you want your child to suffer to begin with? Because the child is going to. And why would you want to teach your child to carry this kind of a tradition on? How do you know the child's going to suffer? Are there any interracial children, interracial, uh, uh, children at all? Who's interracial? Huh? Are you? Oh, the lady who stood up before. Okay. Have you suffered because you're interracial? No, I've never suffered. I would suffer at somebody like you and like you because well, I, have you know, no, I, I have no problems I, with me, who sister, I am and what I am. My sister comes over to my house and I say, Turn. And, now wait, my sister but, comes over to my house and turns that, turns that crap on and I refer to it as music. I told her to turn the music. Oh, don't say that. Vince is there. Now wait a minute. You're in my home. You know what, whether, when I'm in there, whether even if there's only I white mean, people there, it's still not a nice word to use, respect. you know? Vince, okay, do you go to his house at all? I haven't been in his house in about maybe a year, almost a year. Yeah. I, but see, but see, like you were saying, the interracial, the interracial children of interracial marriages, my mom is a little small, tiny Jewish lady, okay? My dad, well, he's gone, but uh -huh. he's, he's as dark as, he's dark in these pants, mm -hmm. okay? But, uh... I haven't suffered at all. Yeah. You so, know? so why do you? Do if, if anything, I think I just by knowing him. Okay. Then you tell me about the white woman. She's a woman. All right. She's a woman, woman plain and simple. Right. I don't give a. Oh, what hold color on, she hold on. Is. She's a woman. Damn Pauline, right. Pauline, hang on just a second. So, Vince, this is. Have you? Have you always? It, be, it beats a man. Okay. Vince, Vince. <laughs> have you always dated white women? First of all. Uh. I, I don't date women darker than myself, and that's my Why? choice. Why not? I think, I, I find it, I find they're better lovers, and they're more, more passionate people to me. But that's, listen, 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 list
What am I taking? Why would Vince, you wanna, I think give me a take take it. Let me just leave it there for one second. You say that women are better, uh, white women are better lovers. Did you have a comment? Yeah. Yeah, Vince. How can you dare be upset that Mark is racist when you yourself, you're sitting that's up no, there. No, excuse yeah. me, excuse me, sir. That's I will respect I will respect you, sir. Please respect me. You are sitting up there and you're being racist against black women. I'm sorry if you cannot deal with an African queen such oh, as no. myself. Oh, no. Okay? I've been there, okay? Mm -hmm. I've been there. I'm just saying my preference, okay? But what's, women. But what's the reason for your preference if it's not a bit of racism then? That's right. It's not, it's not racist. You know, she, she's, got okay. a, she's got yeah. a daughter right what now. That was, she's got a daughter right now trying to, trying to date these black boys. It's like, wait a minute, wake up. Find you a white man, raise your children right. Amen. No, 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 no. You wouldn't, Amen. you would not, is, is Vince not allowed in your house, Mark? Is he not allowed in your house? I'm allowed, but I just choose not to go because I don't want to have to Very deal little. with it. But didn't you, like, yeah. sleep in the park one night? Yes, he did yeah. on Christmas. We were, sure we were, Christmas? We were moving, okay, me and Brenda were in the transition, and at the time we didn't have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. She got to go to her mom and dad's. They didn't want me over the house. I asked... I mean, uh, Mark, and it was no go, so I just he, had to stay in the park. You wouldn't let him in the house, and he slept outside. Oh, That's right. Out in the park on Christmas. Uh, oh, well. that's Mark, they wanted to tell you that um, my no. my uncle no. is black, and I have two cousins that are mixed, and they were raised perfectly fine. My one cousin's in the Marines, so my other cousin has a really good job, and I think your views are from the Dark Ages. Get real. Well, you know what? <laughs> Say, right, we're in the 90s. Mm -hmm. well, you know what? Yeah. What, make, what makes the 90s right? You know compared what? Compared to the 60s or what? Well, I mean, why, why are. You know what? I, I, I can answer that when I come back. The I'm majority gonna... of the people do not accept interracial marriages. Mm -hmm. Why stick exactly. it up mine? You but know? Okay, but you, like, you, you just don't have much of a reason, Mark. That's that. what, yeah. You don't have much of a reason, and, and uh, you asked about why the 90s are right, and I, had, I was looking at the paper this morning. This is in this morning's paper. A few years late, the, the headline says, State OK's 15th Amendment. Just after the Civil War, the 15th Amendment to the Constitution guaranteed no one could be denied the right to vote because of race, color, or previous conditions of servitude. 127 years later, they are ratifying that amendment. Now the whole country is in. We can't all be wrong. Well, you know what? The, that's right. We all can't be wrong. Right. I have a right to be but, happy. Just like he has the right to be happy, whether he's black or white. But you know, when you when you don't accept something, and in your home, and uh, even on the news that they were saying that the, the, the state is sort of embarrassed that they're the last ones to ratify that it took them so long to to make it legal. Now it's legal. If you saw some, what if you just fell in love with this wonderful woman like on the phone and then met her and she was black? What would happen? What if you, what if you were on the internet or on the phone for a month or two and then turns out that she's black? What would you do? I wouldn't do that. I, I, yeah, Vince? I'm pretty sure he would. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would. I, I, th th he's not stupid, okay? He's not an idiot. Excuse me. Well, when I we have yeah, Laura, next year, you'll know Laura? why. My sister is pregnant right now, okay? She already has my nephew. He'll be four in May. She's raising them to be prejudiced. Now, when he grows up, both her children grow up. But are they gonna, uh, with uh, black? Aren't they, aren't they going to be prejudiced towards my children and myself? They, they could very and, well and be. The only hope is that maybe they'll watch enough talk shows and see shows like this that might Excuse might change Jenny. their mind. Yes, so Vince, Vince, Vince before grandson, we go, Vince, before we go, what do you want to say? I want to say prejudice starts with the parents, okay? You don't, you're not, you're not born prejudice. It's, it's how it's people are, fair. people are taught. With parents and with society because well, it's still out there, there as we go. know, as we know. Let's take a break. You we'll come right back with a man who says his racist sister's trying to break up his marriage. Hey, listen, 7th or 8th graders, think about college. The rules in Georgia have changed. So get some knowledge. There's new college admission standards, and here's the deal. More math, science, English, foreign language. Get real. A B average and a hope scholarship gets you college tuition. Are you listening? That's the truth. So ask your school counselor about college prep. Get started on your future, all right? Tell prep. Prep it up. A message from Channel 2. If you feel...
about to introduce Lisa and Mike right now. Lisa says that she refuses to accept her brother's wife and did not go to the wedding. So I guess racism comes in all colors, huh? Yes. Yeah. Just because she's white? Well, yeah, just because she's white. Mm -hmm. because did you go to the was, wedding? No. Where were you when, when he got I married? I was with his ex-girlfriend the day of the wedding. <laughs> the, one, the one that you thought he should have married? Yes. Who was black? Yes. Right. Uh, how long you how long you been married though, Mark? Fifteen years. Yeah. You've been carrying this hatred around for fifteen years. Yes. You still don't accept her. Do they no, have children? I don't want to accept it. Do they have children? Yes, they do. Do you accept the children? Well, if I see them, I see them. I don't oh, make my effort to go and try to see him. What, what is so wrong? Is it just because of the color of her skin? Not just because of the color of her skin. We had a lot of competitions and arguments and things. Competition? Mm -hmm. who, was, who was competing? What do you mean? Not competition. I said com complica complication problems. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, is she trying to split you up? Well, or did she try to split you up? Um, sometimes, not just her. Uh, Other family members? Yes. Me, me How did it feel that, you, that they didn't go to the wedding? Your family wasn't was, at the wedding. You know, I was, I was upset. <laughs> I was upset. Did you know it, who she was with when you got married? No, I was upset, but it didn't. I didn't. It didn't bother me. Yeah. So you've dated both black and white women. Yes. Why do you think she doesn't like your wife? That's why I want to find out. Uh, it's been 15 years. Is it, is it, we've, we live in the high desert. I hardly see my family. We hardly go to any functions because uh, my kids feel... Um, unwanted. Not unwa unwanted. They feel... Um, like not part of the family. Not part right. of the family, so... Are you, you aren't clear about why your sister doesn't accept your wife? Maybe she's clear. Let's, let's see what she has to say. Rose, come on out here. Here's Rose. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's clear in your mind why uh, you haven't been accepted into the family. She hasn't accepted me. She hasn't accepted my kids. Um, it's been 15 years, 19 years that we've been together. That's unbelievable. It's time to get on You're... and just accept the situation. No, <laughs> Lisa, I see that you, you care dearly about your brother, but do you truly love your brother? Yes, I do. I you truly do, love my brother. You, you can see that he's very unhappy that the way you feel and the way you're acting towards <laughs> him is just saddening the both of you, the both of you and the entire family. I mean, obviously, the both of you have a marriage. You're not married to Lisa. But the thing is, is that there has to be some type of appreciation and love for one another. And you're obviously together. You've been together. You've been married for 15 years. Has yes. she been nice to you at least, Rose? I mean, has she been polite? And No. Has she She's called not... you names? Yeah. Like she, what? She calls me a white B and just everything. She's called me a lot Do of names. Do you think she's We've tried to... We've almost fought. We have almost fought. Not physically. Yes. Physically, yes. yes. physically. Over what? Over what? Because she doesn't like, like me. Mouth. She doesn't like me. Is she, she trying to like smart me. mouth? She has five sisters. None of them likes me. She has a very smart mouth. I'm able to control your brother. Hello. <laughs> well, that's right. You control him, but not me. That's right. You're that's right. right. I, I'm that's does she control, control you, Mike? Does your wife control you? Uh, well, Jenny, I'm gonna tell you like this. Yes, yeah, she does. I'm gonna huh? tell you. I'm gonna yeah, tell you, she Jenny. Does. I'm gonna, let me tell you. When let we me, come back from break, you got does. first. You gotta give me a yes or a no, and then I'll let you talk. We'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> Now you can connect with a psychic anytime you want, just by dialing. Find out... Okay, what do you want to say? I think that the problem we have in this country today with blacks and whites is that the blacks, you know, see the white people, you know, they see white people like this lady here, and they think all white people are like that. 
And then the white people see black people like this lady here, and they think all black people are like that. And that is not the case. This lady does not speak for any white person in this audience, maybe other than that I'll lady. Speak to nobody but Thank myself. You. Thank you for that. Nobody. Thank you for that. Lisa, would you would you call yourself a racist? Would you call yourself a racist? No. But you didn't go to their wedding. No, I didn't. Why not? I didn't no. approve of the wedding. Where was the? You didn't go to the wedding. The girls, did she come to the reception? No, the reception was at her mom's house, and they were still minors. All of his. They were still living at home. Still lived at home. So you wouldn't go to your own home. Left. No, I left. was not at home. Why so much hatred? Well, she broke up a good relationship between him and his ex-girlfriend. Obviously, it but wasn't, wasn't good, and I didn't But that's his problem. Out. He came after me. Can, Hello, can he I, came after me. Something? I did not go after him. Can I okay, say Mike, something? Does your wife control you, yes or no? Yeah. No, yeah. not anymore. <laughs> There's a saying that behind behind every successful man there's a good woman. Right. And, and the, the honest to God truth is, the way I was running my life at that time, I needed a strong individual mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. And she was the one that stepped in and said, And Lisa, not, but Lisa must know it, that. It, Lisa, it you must know that, right? It Don't you? Excuse me, it could have been a it could have been a it could have been, been a black woman. Follow it follow was me. just at that time she was the woman that appeared. She uh, helped you turn your life around, she, but Lisa, this is your brother. You must know that she's been good for him then. That's a lot of anger to carry yeah. around. I mean my kids are honor roll students. Isn't he telling the truth? Didn't she turn his life around? No. Before we break, Rose, is there anything you think you can say to Lisa that will have an impact on her today? She knows that me and my husband have made it. We have four successful children. We have a nice house. We both are employed. I have a very good job. He has a very good job. And it's just time, 19 years. I love you guys. And it's time to get it together. It's time for us to get it I'm together. My children don't even know you guys. They are growing up. They're going to be going to college. They are going to become successful and his, their family should be there. Lisa, for your That's brother's fine. sake, so, you can't accept this woman after almost 20 years? I can accept it, but I don't want to accept it. You don't have to love it, but accept it. Accept it. I can accept it, but I don't want to accept it. Well, we, let's take a break. We'll come back. <laughs> I used to think. If you are in an interracial relationship and some family members are having a problem accepting you, or if you refuse to accept a family member who is dating or married interracially, we'd love to have you on the show. 312-832-4180 is the number to call. Interracial relationships are not going away, by the way. I was in the paper again this morning. One over a million, I think it's 1.4 interracial marriages now in this country. They're even now considering, you may have heard in the news this morning, uh, that the Census Bureau might be actually having a new category now for interracial people. It's not going away. So if you, at least before you make a judgment, before you judge somebody, at least give them a chance. We will continue to do these shows and hope that we can at least extend that message. Please give these people a chance today. Thank you very much. One thing certain about kids, you never know what they're going to say. Get ready for the most hilarious answers to some of the life's tougher questions next.